We're here in Warm Springs, Oregon, the site of the Warm Springs K-8 Academy. The tribe funded half of the school along with the school district. And so it was a unique partnership. And USDA did make a loan to the tribe to help finance this beautiful modern facility that serves the children very well. The salad bars have been a very important component to expose our students to eating healthy and they also have the garden here that they can then do programs with. The soil is very nurturing and today I'll tell you I believe that it's very therapeutic and it can be healing. And so I like to refer to it as connection to mother, uh, mother earth being an indigenous way of seeing life. We do garden classes three days a week where we're growing food and we're distributing food to those in need. Warm Springs is a food desert, so there's one grocery store in the area and there's not a lot of access, there's not a lot of fresh produce. So getting students to understand that they can take ownership of their own food, they can grow their own food, create their own healthy choices rather than relying on a grocery store to do it for them. And for the tribes as a whole, it kind of helps them work towards some uh, food sovereignty goals that they have. We got to bring everybody into the 21st century with telephone service, internet. The USDA came in with a big loan in the very beginning and helped us build the tribal telco. And when I first started, we had 280 trouble tickets and that's dropped to zero now. Most of those trouble tickets were calling because of slow internet. And so we're in the process of fixing it. <laughs>